Hello, my name is Lucy Forster Smith, and I've had the privilege of serving on the Pilgrims of Italy board for six years. Today, as a tribute to Abuna Elias Shakur's upcoming book on the Beatitudes, I am interviewing board member colleagues about their perspectives on the Beatitudes. And today it is my privilege to speak with Peter Henry about his perspectives on the Beatitudes. So Peter, in general, what do the Beatitudes mean to you? Well, the Beatitudes uh, come early on in the ministry of Jesus and as someone who follows Jesus Christ, I essentially see the Beatitudes as kind of like discipleship 101. If you want to follow me, here's how you can be more like me. And here are the blessings that I pronounce on people that seek to follow me. And so for me, it's an important blueprint. They're guideposts. It's a, a way of being if I want to follow Jesus. Beautiful. And how are you guided by them in your own life as a Christian? Recently, Abuna wrote a letter to me about his project on the Beatitudes, and he said that he views the Beatitudes as an invitation by Jesus to go deeper and to go further, to go beyond. And in many ways, that resonates with my experience of the Beatitudes. I think Jesus is inviting me to go deeper into my own condition. Do I see God's blessing even in the midst of things that are more difficult? Am I going deeper in terms of the ministries to which I'm called, being a peacemaker and to be with those who mourn? And am I aligning myself with the people whom Jesus seeks to lift up when he pronounces blessing? So I agree with Abuna. The Beatitudes are an invitation to go deeper and further and beyond. That's beautiful. And so finally, then, what meaning do the Beatitudes have in today's world? I think we live in a world where there are certainly people of great affluence and great influence, and that speaks to many of the folks in what we call our traditional mainline churches. I think the Beatitudes are an invitation to go deeper and beyond in terms of relationships with people that don't have affluence, don't have influence, the people with whom Jesus wants us to align ourselves in terms of our time and our money. And so I think the Beatitudes are as relevant as they've ever been. Jesus wants to know with whom are you spending time and how are you spending your life to build up the people on whom I want to share the blessings. And I think that fits squarely in the ministry and mission of Pilgrims of Ibeline and aligning ourselves with Mar Elias and our peace partners. That's beautiful. Well, thank you very much. And we so look forward to this seminal book by Abuna Elias Shakur.